Hey guys, Jake Yancey, Track and Wire Ranch. Hey, I just want to show you something. We've talked about this a couple times. So this is an electric fence we got running around the perimeter. Uh, it is working really good right now. We just got a single strand on some of this old barbed wire. Um, but the main thing is this is the Gallagher Fault Finder. So you can see it's picking up a little bit of inductive current. This is the current in the air. So we're not even touching anything. Uh, so we'll often have people say, man, my, my outer fence is giving me a reading or whatever. Well, it's just... Uh, the field that's out there. So don't think it's always the fence, especially when it's super low. So we're not even touching anything. Main thing I want to show you is I'm going to grab hold of this uh, fence tester on the outside. And you can see we're at 6.2 kilovolts. So we've done some videos and stuff we've kind of showed you, uh, but there is a metal plate on the back of this that helps to ground this out. So we're going to hold it like you would normally hold it. We're going to touch it. I'm going to try to not shock myself here. There you go. You can see now we went to 8.5 kilovolts. So it's now conducting through our body a little bit. I'm gonna grab hold of that outside and you can see it drops right down to 6.5. I'm not touching the back. Uh, so it drops down, gives you a lower reading. The other thing you can do, uh, so the accessory grounding lug uh, comes with a little extension you can stick in the ground for a super accurate reading. Uh, but we just hold our finger on it and let it ground directly through our body. And so that gives an even better reading. Now we're up to 9.5 we're at for kilovolts. So uh, we're going to take our finger off of that, grab hold of the outside of the tester. We're going to test our fence. It's not grounding that well through our body right now. We're at 6.5. We hold it like we would normally hold a fence tester. So I got it a little shallow in my, but you can get the sense of it. Now we're up to 8.4. And if we want to do even better, we can stick our thumb on it. And now we're up to 9.4. So there's a reason for these uh, grounding lugs and a reason why to hold on to these uh, fault finders properly. Uh, that way you get a more accurate reading and really know what your fence is uh, reading. But yeah, we got some happy cows out there today. So hope you guys enjoyed this.